into the teeth of our defense and you know we weren't able to recover and they they knock down shots they do what they do each and every night when a team takes 52 threes what kind of pressure does that put on your defense even if they're not shooting them particularly well just that number is just so large yes yeah, you know very staggering um but they have very very capable shooters and willing shooters um but then like i said they also have a huge role presence coming down the middle and capella that you also have to respect so, uh you know, they put you between a rock and a hard place and if they're late on any of the rotations, they make you pay. Team has been playing well as of late. You know, how do you sort of put this game into pers perspective, and, and what will your message be to the guys? Um, you know, just learn from it. Uh, understand we have another one coming up Friday, and uh, let's try to have the carryover that we had from the three previous games into that one, and keep building. Zach, I have one question for you. Tonight, I noticed the ball was not with the side to side one thing. Um. You know, they do a lot of switching, which uh, usually slows the ball rotation down. You don't have uh, the defensive rotations that you normally have. And um, that's usually a scheme used to not allow the ball to go from side to side. And we got to do a better job of just finding the mismatches, being able to, like you said, reverse the ball from side to side and make them guard more than one action. They, they got between Chris Sapp and I, and I know that uh, the ball was trying to be forced into him. But somebody had to be open. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, but Chris Stapps does a tremendous job for us on the block. You know, um, he's been on a scoring rampage all season for us, and uh, he's one of those guys that can make those difficult shots. So we, uh, we, we'll we live with those moments, and, you know, he's been carrying us with it uh, the past four or five games. And tonight the ball just didn't go down, and uh, I think it's up to everybody to do a better job of us, you know, getting the ball hopping, getting the ball moving to kind of take some of that pressure off him as well. 40 point third quarter. Yeah, you know, uh, they're an explosive team. Um, their offense is their defense. You know, um, they make a lot of shots at a rapid pace, and uh, it can force you into an up-and-down type, frantic type pace game. And if you're not hitting shots uh, as well, you know, they can pull away from you, and that's uh, what I saw happen tonight. What did you see preseason when you just kind of watched it? Did you see more of those type of guys where they're able to do it and do it efficiently? Um, I mean, that's their style of play. You know, other teams have – style of plays where they shoot a lot of twos or they play through the post and uh, through their coach. I mean, that, that's just the way they play. You know, they, they're told either to shoot threes or layups, one of the two. So um, if you only got two options, then you kind of just go go with what coach says. But, yeah, 52 three-pointers, I mean, that's still a very, very staggering number. Yeah. Um, Jeff said you guys were lacking some energy in the middle of three quarters. How much is, a fu is that a function of playing three games in four, three, in four nights? We don't, we don't really use those excuses, man. Everybody goes through that portion of the season. I think it was just a product of, you know, not seeing the ball go through the basket for a period can kind of uh, put you in a lull a little bit. It can seem like we're only playing defense, and uh, it puts so much emphasis on, on, your, on your offense that when they score at such a rapid pace, when it seems like you're not scoring for – a uh, couple of lapses here and there, man. It can make you kind of press a little bit. Does a game like this help you going forward if you play? I mean, not everybody plays decent style, but a game where you're playing at a pace that's not you're not maybe comfortable with. How do you combat that? Control it to make maybe dictate the pace that you want. Make the other team play the pace that you want them. Um, we gotta do a better. I mean, defensively, I mean, they were doing a good job of switching. I think we just gotta do a better job of being aggressive finding those mismatches and then attacking the defense and making the appropriate play, you know, whatever the defense uh, presents, whether it's scoring or, or making a play for somebody else. There were some passing miscues, especially early on. Do you think there's a communication issue or was it something else? No, nah, no, nah, we just, you know, just a bad ball handling night tonight. Um, the past three, four games, I thought we've been doing great sharing the basketball, finding open players. And, you know, tonight was one of those nights where we just uh, – you know, we weren't in, in the best of rhythm, so we tried to fight through it as best we could. I thought that second unit, uh, Damian Dodson, I thought Frank, um, those guys, uh, Lance Thomas, I thought he played amazing for us. So uh, hats off to those guys for, for picking up where, where, you know, we kind of faltered and, and kind of letting, like, letting the game slip away. You guys bounced back after the Boston game, which is also you know, a blowout loss like this one. How much do you look to that one so you can bounce back from this one going forward? Um, I don't even think we're really looking back to that one, to be honest, man. Um, we were just trying to keep riding this positive wave that we were starting to establish. And, um, you know, we'll go look at the film tomorrow, I'm sure, look at the number of mistakes that we had and try to move on, eliminate those, and move on to Friday's game.